Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hi, my name is Joel Newber, and this is a mock I made of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride from Disneyland. It's something that I've wanted to do for just about my entire life, ever since I was grow up, growing up in the 80s with the classic LEGO Pirates. Uh, my parents took me to Disneyland, I rode Pirates of the Caribbean, and I said, someday I'm going to make that out of LEGO. So here it is, and I'll take a few minutes now to show it to you. So the real distinguishing feature of this mock is the fact that it uses real water uh, to move the boats around the ride, as you can see here. So, the ride starts over here in the ride loading area. You can see a boat's just arriving. So I modeled this actually after the ride loading area at Disney World. At Disneyland, they have a bayou, more of a kind of a swamp loading area. And I like the fort at Disneyland or Disney World. So I went with that. Uh, and so I've got a conveyor belt under the water uh, that actually controls the release of the boats to keep them spaced out along the ride. So you can see down there in the water, the actual conveyor mechanism. And another boat pulls up and it'll wait. So a skeleton in a cage down here. So after we leave the ride loading area, uh, we go back to the Disneyland version and I got a bayou, kind of a swamp. Okay, the shipwreck. And here's the old man in his rocking chair. And then once we get through there, we enter the skeleton cave. Through this little cave right here. And you can see right here we have our skeleton uh, and the ghost ship. And right there is the famous talking skull. There goes a boat. And through that cave is a lift. I'm using tank treads to bring the boats up to the upper level. And that is up here. So you can kind of get an idea. The boats drop in right here off the conveyor belt. And this is the secondary of the skeleton cave where I've got some pirates on the beach. Uh, there's some skeletons at the bar having a good time. And over here, we've got the, uh, the king pirate in his bed with the skull behind him. And then right here is the drop. And right before they go down, you've got Davy Jones. Here comes a boat. The water builds up behind the boat to release it. And there it goes. All right, let's go back around down below. So now we're on the other side of the drop. This is where the boats come down. Uh, and as soon as they hit the bottom of the drop, they're in between the battle between the Wicked Winch and the fort. This is going on right here. Uh, this Wicked Winch model was built by my brother, Jonathan Newber. For those of you who are familiar with Pirates of the Caribbean, the Wicked Winch is the ship that becomes the Black Pearl after it gets burnt, raised by Davy Jones. So after the sea battle, we go right into the town when the pirates are looting the town. Here's the scene with Carlos the mayor uh, being dunked by the pirates and his wife up above in the window. Got some pirates digging up some treasure. Then we go into the town. Here's the auction scene. And after there, you go to the scene where the pirates are chasing the townspeople, going around and around, up above and down below. There's Jack Sparrow hiding in the barrel looking for the treasure map. There's the front of the fort. Better view. Got a little tavern inside down here. Around the corner, we've got the pirates singing, and then you get to the part where the town is being burned, while the pirates are looting and pillaging. You got the drunk pirate with his pigs. Then you go into this tunnel right here, and through this tunnel, 
There's a few more rooms. First up is the famous scene with the pirates in the prison with the bone and the dog has the key. More pirates over there. And then right next door, Jack Sparrow got the key and he found the treasure. And there he is enjoying the spoils. Comes a boat through the tunnel. On around the corner. And when we go around the corner, we find ourselves back in the loading area. That is one full circuit. So I've got about a hundred lights on the mock. It looks really cool at night. I love this look. You can see the swamp. It's a dark ride, so it's really in its element in the dark. Really get an appreciation for it. So by far the biggest challenge of this mock has been working with water. Uh, from the beginning, that's something I knew I had to do. I mean, that really is the spirit of this ride, is the boats in the water. So there's really nothing you can do to replace that. Uh, and the biggest question I often get asked by people that, that see this mock is, how are you keeping the water in? Uh, so I thought about that quite a bit. Uh, I thought about maybe gluing the pieces together, or using sealant. The problem is this channel is so big, then I would have to seal the entire thing with no gaps or seams. And uh, that just wouldn't be practical, it'd be impossible to move. Uh, not to mention if I just missed one little Lego brick, it's still gonna leak. So really what I came down to was pond liner. And I made this little cutaway here uh, that I'll show you that kind of shows how it looks like. So here's the mock, what you see on top. Underneath that is the canal that you can see uh, right here in the water. And sandwich underneath the canal is just standard rubber pond liner for outdoor ponds uh, with a frame built underneath it to hold it. So the water uh, sitting inside of that liner and that's what's actually uh, keeping all the water uh, in the entire ride. And it works really well. Uh, it's just kind of difficult to get it all rolled out because every time I build it and set it up, I have to take the liner out, put it back in. It's all one big piece of liner that I had to cut and it took me three tries to get the cutting right. So a lot of work went into that, but it's working really well. It doesn't leak at all. Uh, I left it running for for a four day show, not one drop of water leaked out of it. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, some of the other issues uh, and things kind of to talk about, uh, problems I've had. Transportation uh, is a big one. So I, I love taking this to shows. I debuted it uh, at uh, Scarbeck 2023, just this past September, took it there. Uh, got some great positive feedback. Got to meet a lot of, uh, a lot of really cool people um, from Lego and from, from other designers. 
which was really really exciting experience. I got a lot of positive positive reaction from it. Um, but I would say <clears throat> biggest challenge with transporting it is just taking it apart, uh, filling and, and taking out the water and, and making sure it's level. I had to actually build a custom table um, with six individual legs that can all be adjusted independently that allow for the table because it has to be perfectly level uh, left to right, not more than a couple millimeters off one side or the other. Um, so, so making sure that that's, that's all square and level um, is certainly a challenge for transportation. Um, but it breaks apart into about 17 different modules. Uh, this center module here with the fort uh, is the biggest module. But I've got custom crates that hold everything <clears throat> that all kind of comes apart. It takes me about six hours to completely assemble it um, from scratch. So it's a pretty significant amount of time. So obviously don't transport it too often. Another big uh, challenge was the ride boats themselves. Uh, needing to find something that will actually float. So as you know, the Pirates line came out with these little rowboats here that do float, but the problem is they really don't hold any weight, much weight at all in the water. Uh, fortunately, Lego released uh, a larger rowboat. Uh, here comes one right here in the 4 Plus Pirates line. So here you can see a comparison of the size between the two boats. It's much larger. Um, and it actually is able to hold some weight and some minifigs and float. Um, the, the challenge is it can't hold really much more than three minifigs in the seats. I tried actually designing a ride boat that looked like the rides uh, at Disneyland and Disney World. Um, but unfortunately, it just uh, had too much weight and the boat would uh, take on water uh, and eventually sink. So I found I really couldn't put much more weight than just a few chairs and three minifigs in them. Uh, which which is unfortunate, but it still looks pretty good, and, and I'm overall happy with their performance. Uh, they do really well. I can leave it running for uh, quite a while without having to dump any water out of them, so uh, pretty good.